Well, my name, as you know, is Barbara Barracuda, and I'm here to talk to you about Anime Expo. So, that usually takes place on 4th of July weekend in somewhere in Southern California. I think this year's at the Los Angeles Convention Center, but it will never be as good as Anime Expo 15 when it was at the Anaheim Convention Center, like a block away from Disneyland. Heaven for a weekend. Oh my god. I'm actually having some problems. I know, me problems, right? I'm wondering who I should cosplay as. I already have a costume for Misty from Pokemon, which is actually a pretty easy costume if you think about it. All I really need to get is a red, orangish wig. I can style a wig. It's easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm wondering if I should do that one because it just seems like it's too easy. I'm not going to impress anyone because I do like to impress people with my cosplay abilities. Another one that I want to do is either Sailor Moon or Sailor Mercury. If I end up doing Sailor Moon, then I'm not going to do like special Sailor Moon where she's all like princessified or like super sailor. Cause that's just not as fun. She only ever does that when she's like heartbroken or like out for vengeance or the whole world's going to end and I don't want that. If I do Sailor Moon, then I'm just going to do regular Sailor Moon, you know, big bow, short skirt, big giant boots though. That's a must. Sailor Mercury, I think that I would want to do Dark Sailor Mer Mercury from the Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon series. Definitely my favorite. She's just so badass. It's ridiculous. Oh. It's called Anima Expo. I know. Don't, don't fault me for this. Okay? Let's think about Alice Cullen. Just to clear something out, okay? I'm a Twilight fan. Of Twilight since the seventh grade. I'm a junior. I knew Twilight before they had it at Target. I had to order it off of Amazon. Also, I've liked liked vampires long, long, long before Twilight. Long before all these preppy little teeny barbers like, oh my God, Edward, Jacob, oh Twilight, Twilight, oh poor Queen Twilight. Alice Cullen. She's always been one of my favorite characters. I'm actually going to be getting my hair done soon. So it won't be pink anymore. I know you're all very sad. It will be black black and short and spiky like Alice Cullen. Actually, I'm basing my haircut around Josie and the Pussycats. I don't know, not really Alice Cullen, but I guess it's the same hairstyle, and since it's black instead of red, I guess it is more Alice Cullen than Josie and the Pussycats, but I've recently gone on a Josie and the Pussycats kick, so I've been watching that like nonstop for the last at least, oh, let's see, four days. Should I cosplay as Josie? I don't even know. No, because it's not even close to anime, like costumey. So, having problems deciding. Then again, I'm also going to be there for four days, so I could do quite a few of them, you know, in case I can't decide in the end. Also, I'm going to see Paramore and No Doubt in concert in July. I'm very happy because that's like a birthday present to me, only it's really for my gay friend Trevor, but he's cool. His birthday is actually in about a month. And we decided that we are taking him to No Doubt for his birthday because he's like, like the only girl that he's head over heels for is Gwen Stefani. And so we're going to see them in concert. And so it's going to be me, Donovan, Trevor, Kayla, and Thomas. It'll be so much fun because I love Paramount, I love No Doubt. And it's my birth, it's like five days after my birthday, so it'll be heck of fun. Actually for my birthday, we're seeing Harry Potter at midnight, because my birthday is July 16th and the movie comes out July 17th, so. Also, I've been on a Buffy and the Vampire Slayer, Buffy the Vampire Slayer kick for quite a while. I actually bought the first season on DVD for 20 bucks, and then I got really mad, because then I went to Target and they had first and second season together, right, for $26. I was so mad, I was like, mm. so, but I can't really take them back because they were used already, and so. I can't really take them back, but I would have, if I had known that it was $26 for two seasons instead of $20 for one season, I totally would have gotten it. This is lame, as lame can get, and that's pretty flippin' lame. Whatever. My oh, life sucks. Anywho, now that that's over, okay. Oh my god, okay. Okay, so, anywho, um... Does anybody know what James Masters is doing, like, musically right now? Because I looked up Ghost of a Robot, and apparently they broke up, like, hella days ago. I've recently gotten to, um... I've recently got into, um, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and I'd have to say that the Buffy Spike romance is way better than every other romance, and they're like, fucking Riley? What the hell? Like, he's just... he's just boring, and then he gets all, like, kinked up on getting his blood sucked. That's disgusting. 
Well, I don't know. I guess it can be hot, but he, like, pays for us to do it, and that's just... No. And then there's Angel, who's all like, poor me, I'm a tortured soul, I, oh, my life sucks, I have a conscience. Well, shut the fuck up and get over yourself. Whatever. I'm cool. I have nothing against Angel, because, you know, the whole Angel Buffy thing was cute at first, and I'm just like, oh, like, my heart warmed every time that they kissed, and then when they did it, I was like, yes, triumph. But then he went all evil, and I was like, fuck. Sucked. Because, well, he's evil. Right? He wasn't a very fun evil guy. I'd have to say he was a lot more fun when he was evil than when he was good. I'd have to say that the Spike Buffy romance is way better than the Angel Buffy romance because it's not as boring and Spike is hilarious. And so... It's just cool beans, you know? And Spike is also my favorite character, like, period. And... Oh my gosh, okay. James Masters is being Piccolo in the new Dragon Ball Z movie. Oh my god. Okay. Just so you know, I don't like Dragon Ball Z. I can't stand Dragon Ball Z. I tried watching Dragon Ball Z. The art style bugs me, kind of like how One Piece does. It's just kind of annoying. I, I tried watching it for about a week, and at the beginning of the week they said, the war's gonna end in five minutes! Okay, so that happened at the beginning of the week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, yeah, five minutes, more like five days. James Masters is playing Piccolo. Piccolo is like the bad guy, and once again, I'm rooting for the bad guy. He's gonna have green skin. I'm not sure if I can like him as much unless he has the yellowed out peroxide Billy Idol hair. Billy Idol so cute. Okay, so I'm excited. I think that I might actually cosplay as Willow be kind of fun. Back to the cosplay thing. We're down to Willow, Sailor Moon, Sailor Mercury, Misty, Alice, Josie-ish. I don't know. If I get enough people to say Josie, then maybe. But then again, I'm probably going to get like two people who comment this video because no one watches me. Anywho, now that that's over, I think that pretty much sums it up. Yeah. Bye-bye. Toodles.